Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri says Kenyan security forces last night thwarted a planned attack by Al-Shabaab gunmen on two villages in Fafi constituency. There are claims the militants attempted to hoist the Al-Shabaab flag in the two villages. Patrick Amimo has the details. The militants targeted the villages of Yumbis and Damajale in Fafi constituency and confirmed reports indicate that the militants moved about asking villagers to congregate in mosques for evening prayers besides urging locals to join the terror group. Interior Cabinet Secretary Joseph Nkaiseri has confirmed the militants attempted to sneak into Kenya's border but were repulsed. We had um, prior information about their movement but the, the actual time, you know, these are human beings but uh, they attacked or rather their mission was foiled there were no casualty on either side, and he kept on coming, talking to the people, threatening the people. What about claims that the militants attempted to hoist flags in Kenyan territory? They didn't hoist any flag, not at all. On Tuesday night, heavily armed militia suspected to be Al-Shabaab crossed into Kenya from Somalia. They laid siege to two mosques in Tumtish and Kabasalo in Ijara sub-county and allegedly forced worshippers to listen to their propaganda for two hours. The militants are said to have warned mosque leaders against exposing sympathizers and financiers of the terror group before disappearing into a nearby bush. Local police suspect the militants crossed into Kenya from Kulbio, Somalia, and have been hiding in the thick bony forest that runs through Garissa and Lamu counties. Their mission is, is to scare away the, the people really, the, in fact to kill education in North Eastern, um, so that they may want to bring the the religion, uh, education in that region. And even as militants appear to be playing hide and seek with the Kenyan security forces along the porous border, there are reports that police officers posted in the security operation areas in Garissa County have not been paid their allowances. One officer who spoke to KTO on condition of anonymity said officers are demoralized. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Inspector General of the National Police Service, Joseph Boynet, says police are investigating sources of leaflets which have been dropped in learning institutions in various parts of the country, threatening imminent terror attacks. Boynet says culprits who are misusing social media by posting alarming messages will be arrested and prosecuted. He also urges school management to closely monitor those entering and leaving school. Boynet asked students to be vigilant and report any suspicious persons to security agencies for appropriate action. Patrick Amimo, KTN.